You might not have heard much from us in the last couple of months, but trust us, we were working hard behind the scenes doing something programmers should almost never do. We rebuilt the entire Dino Deploy platform from scratch to be a more flexible, powerful and simpler hosting solution. If Ryan Dahl can do one thing well, is to learn from past mistakes and then come up with a new, much better solution. He did it with Node and now we did it again with Dino Deploy. This was a huge effort and for the past few months we worked closely with a group of early access users which helped us test and bulletproof the platform. And now the new and improved Dino Deploy is available to everyone. And trust us, there are a few things you should be really excited about. First of all, you now have access to an integrated CI CD pipeline. In the old Dino Deploy, which is still available as Deploy Classic by the way, deployments happen by performing a build in your own system and then pushing that result to Dino Deploy. That might have been from your own CI CD system or GitHub Actions. This option is still available, but now we also offer an optimized, high performance integrated build environment to do this for you. On top of that, our build pipeline offers great visibility into the deployment process and your automated builds and the ability to perform branch deploys, preview builds and rollbacks. Plus, it auto-detects your framework and runs its needed build commands and allows us to make the most of your framework's specific features. All you have to do is connect a GitHub repo to your application and you are ready to build and deploy in the cloud. Second of all, it is now easier than ever to work with data with new and improved database integrations. In addition to Dino KV, our simple globally consistent key value store, we've added first class support for Postgres. That's right, we've made it simple to link and provision databases from third party database providers to your applications in ways that make sense for how developers work with code. Our database integrations do some work behind the scenes to create database instances for each of your development and production contexts. That means that you can provision or allocate a database to one of your applications and get separate databases for each environment. This removes a lot of pressure and work away from you since it's very helpful to know that the data in your development or staging environments will not pollute the data in your production environment. This also means that your application code can remain the same in all contexts. Environment variables are managed automatically by Dino Deploy in different contexts and take care of all the scoping and targeting for you. Besides the convenience of working with data, we all know that observability is a must for any deployment platform. Dino Deploy surfaces a variety of logs, traces and metrics for every application and you don't need to do anything to enable this beyond deploying your application. Deploy's metrics are easy to explore with the interactive charting and a variety of presets and custom timeframes. Whether you are serving a static site or a dynamic app, there are useful metrics available here, including CPU time, memory usage, V8 garbage collection time, and allocated heap size. But for more complex and critical applications, rich telemetry is vital. And, of course, Dino Deploy has built-in support for open telemetry that makes it simple for developers to observe what is happening in their applications. And, remember, all of this is available even if you are deploying a node application. Any project hosted on Dino Deploy, even if there isn't specific telemetry instrumentation code, will automatically show logs, traces and metrics in the application console. Also note that when creating a new application, you can choose to tune it as a dynamic app or a static site. This will shape the server configuration and caching behaviors with some sensible defaults. And, for convenience reasons, you can manage environment variables and secrets both at an application level and at the org level to help share them across all the applications in your organization. Another small but important addition is that the Dino CLI now includes commands to work with Dino Deploy, closing the gap between your local and production environments. Not only can you deploy directly from the command line, but you can link your local environment to your application in Dino Deploy with the tunnel flag. This will grant you access to your centrally managed environment variables, serve your local version on a public URL, and stream logs or traces back to your terminal. Finally, our Playgrounds got better as well. Playgrounds offer an in-browser code editor, which deploys every time you save your changes. Now, they support multiple files and have become a simple way to explore a concept, test some code, and inspect the results all without leaving your browser tab. Check out the blog post linked in the description if you want to find out more or test drive Dino Deploy. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time, thank you for watching.